Hey guys, I have just a quick one for you today. If you're new here, I'm Sandy. I do crafts and I discuss them. Um, if you're not new here, welcome back. So I wrote a blog post about this sock pattern a while ago and um, yeah, I just realized I never did a video. So I made a pair for my friend. These are the Hermione's Everyday Sock. You can tell they're not for me because you can fit the entire sock in frame. Um, these ones I actually did the full ribbing of and I did the full 18 repeats of. It's got um, the modified Eye of Partridge heel flap which is really nice and strong. Um, yeah, so the pair I made for myself I actually did really short. Um, <clears throat> they're like buried at the bottom of my hand wash pile. So um, there you go. But there I did little shorties but since these are more of a slipper sock. I did a nice um, kind of full length. They've got your standard uh, heel flap gusset vibe, heel flap heel turn gusset. They've got a nice toe and a little bit of Kitchener stitch on them. But yeah, so this is a great pattern. Um, I love it. It's really well written. <clears throat> I mean, it's free. I'm pretty sure you've probably heard of this before if you're a sock knitter. If you haven't, then um, yeah, it's a great place to just learn to make some socks. This pattern's a really easy repeat to memorize. It's just a four um, step repeat. There's no fancy stitches. Like I made these entirely while watching TV. But the thing I love most about this pattern and why I felt I needed to do a video on it is I have issues because I love highly variegated yarns for socks. Like I love them to look at. I think they're so pretty, but I find it so hard to find good patterns for them because you want something that will show off the yarn. And I love the look of pooling in a yarn too that's highly variegated, you know? I think these hand painted yarns, they're stunning, but <clears throat> what do you knit with them? Because you want something that has something. So you're not just knitting a plain sock like around, around, around all the time, but you want something that's really beautiful and interesting. And so this is honestly um, probably my favorite sock par pattern for highly variegated yarns. So yeah, it just, um, well right now I'm actually just cast on another one. But yeah, anyway, so this yarn I got from a knit crate of the past. I think it's a merino alpaca nylon blend and it's a joy to work with. Um, the knit crate sock crates, I wish that they were still within my budget or not even within my budget. I wish I still had the budget for them, but they've uh, got rid of international shipping. So or free international shipping. So one day I will hopefully be able to get them back because I love them. The yarn is so beautiful. So if you do have it in your budget, I 10 out of 10 recommend it, especially if you do love really fancy yarns and the surprise of it. Um, and this yarn is beautiful. Oh, it's gorgeous. And it's just, yeah, it's the perfect pattern. Um, yeah, so I just wanted to share because I am always looking for a good pattern for highly variegated yarn. And this one is beautiful. And also, I love these socks and I hope my friend loves them. I mean, I know she will. She had the gall to show up to my house with holes in her socks and just, you know. Um, also, she's just such a pink girl. So it's like good. But yeah. So anyway, so um, yeah, if you haven't knit these, I'll link them down below. I'll link the blog post I did on mine if you want to see how they look with a shortened ankle and half the cuff length. Because whenever I do a short sock, I only cast on 10 rows of ribbing. Um, yeah. But if you're looking for a quick and easy sock to cast on, if you've never done a sock before, this would actually be a great pattern to start with. Um, yeah, knit socks are just the best. So thanks for putting up with me. Hope you stick around and we'll see you later. Bye.